Now that we've got the sun visors sorted out on this car, one of the last things I want to do is sort out the speakers. So when you come to take one of these speaker covers off, you're going to do the two small screws at the bottom, and then you're going to wedge this out like so, and it's going to slide down towards the bottom of the floor to clear this bracket here. Okay. This is what came out of the car, and you can see it's basically falling to pieces, rusty, and I'm not sure the stereo actually works. What I'm going to attempt to do is just replace that with some cheap and cheerful Pioneer speakers. These are TSG 400 speakers, they cost about £20 from so the thing about these Pioneer speakers is, and the TSG 400, is that they fit in here without any modification. The only modification you may need to do is drill two little holes here and here for the lower screws. But the mistake that people often make when fitting these speakers is that they put them in the wrong way round. Logically, you would think the speakers would fit in that way round with the writing the right way up. But if you do that, what you will find is that um, either these wire fittings here or this raised bit here snags on this here now what you some people do is actually start cutting bits out of here to fit and the speakers etc but you don't need to this is pretty flexible there's only a thin bit of wire and what you'll find is when you screw the speaker in it'll actually bend that back of its own volition so the important thing is to mount these speakers so that the wire connections are on the side and not at the bottom or at the top and then you'll find that they fit in. This way to mount them is so that the wires are on the left-hand side towards the window, because if you look through there, that's the lever there for the glove box. Obviously, this is a right-hand drive car, so it might be the other way around, but what you don't want is that lever snagging on the wires. So you want to put it on the opposite side of the wires like that, which is what we're gonna Speakers do. Because like that with the Pioneer on the left-hand side, but that will work nicely. As I say, the only modifications we need to do is needed to do is drill two small holes here just to mount the lower screws. Right, just by screwing these lower screws in, the speaker will be pulled towards the dash without having to start chopping bits out, etc. Driver's side speakers in, you're gonna put the wiring on the other side of this switch here, so like that. Quite tricky doing this one-handed, but it is possible to get that one in there. Might just have to turn the steering wheel. Oh. We secured the top ones in just about. I'm just going to drill a little hole now with that in situ to pull that tight. Once you've got the speaker in, it's just a matter of getting the cover in, and that clips on and is held on by these two screws here. This here is a brand new speaker cover in grey that we managed to get from our guy called Merkman, who does a lot of spare classic Merk parts on eBay. I think that's the part number there. 107101601111. Still has the clips in situ and what you can see is when these clips are new they are very tight to this top metal plate here and that basically is going to pull the speaker towards the car if those clips are missing or loose what you'll find is that your speaker covers are like this they're still held on by two screws under there which holds it in place but you can see that that's not being pulled tight against there this um, speaker cover off you can see what the problem is is that clip is basically needs to be bent back down if you put these two clips on top of each other this is the old one and this is the new one you can see exactly where it needs bending and you can see they fit pretty well up until that joint there so we just need to bend that clip down the reasons that most of these will be rusted out on older cars is that the edges down here on this clip are extremely sharp and will scratch the paintwork off when you take them in and out and there's not much you can do about that you can try bending them so they're looser but that kind of defies the um 
purpose of the clips. So I'm afraid this is newly painted, but there's not much we can do about that. But what you may find, especially if you've bent those clips down the way they're supposed to be, that it's very difficult to get those clips to hook under that little metal fitting there. So the way around that is to use something like a piece of plastic, a credit card or something like that. A stiff white card now, like a credit card. Okay, so I'm just going to slot that behind the two clips, hopefully. Perfect. You can see that's now pulled tight and flush with that. What we have to do now is just tighten those two up and that's job done. Like so many old classic cars, um, the wiring in this car is a mess with bits hacked off and added and all the rest of it. So I don't think I'm going to get involved in that in this video. Um, but I think what we will do is see if we can go and get ourselves a period Becker head and put that in the car or at least something that's better than this thing here and actually connected 